All right, guys. I'm in the in the race trailer right now. It's the middle of the night, and uh, I'm working on building a new engine for the the dirt track truck. And I realized that I haven't talked about something that I built that I was very excited about. So, as you you might have heard from some of my other videos, if you're you're you know around the channel, but if you haven't, um, I was a in, in the Marines. I mean, quite a while ago now, right? But I was in the Marines, and uh, I ended up overheating really bad one day. Okay, I ended up real sick, and I went to the hospital, and they put me on a bunch of meds. But I was in a grunt raid unit, and that meant that there is no slowing down, okay? Our standards are much higher than the, than the, the base standards. So we went out into the field to do some training, some ship-to-shore raids, along with gas training, where they literally gas an entire area with uh, with riot grenades, and you are in full H or, you know, full uh, hazmat. And during this time, I was all doped up on meds because I was very sick. And, uh, well, it turned bad real fast, okay? The body temperature skyrocketed. I ended up passing out, falling out of the back of a the um, the amphibious assault vehicles, um, face first into the ground. I woke back up and uh, almost had a fist fight with the, the, the doc because if you know anything about the military, you know what happens when you pass out. But I woke up in time and I told him that if, if he did, it, he was going to die from it, and he understood understood the uh, the uh, we had an understanding. Okay, so now my body doesn't regulate temperature properly in something like this 85, 90, 95 degree temperatures like we've had the last few days. I am dying. Like, oh yes, in here right now with the AC running above me, it's still 75 degrees, and I'm still sweating. So. Uh, this has caused the need for a cooling shirt. Now, if you go online to buy a cooling system, a racing cooling system, you will realize two things. First off, that they are very, very expensive. And second off, that uh, they're mainly designed for um, endurance racing, 24 hour stuff, with large cooling cells and so on. And I didn't really need all of that. Okay, the uh, race shirt itself, did look nice. Um, I was encouraged to buy the race shirt instead of building one, and I really thought about it. But um, it came out to a thing where we were hitting 100 every days, and I wanted to go racing. So I went out in one day, and I built one of these. And uh, you can probably do it in a couple hours if you know what to buy. But I didn't know what to buy. So I was doing a lot of go to this store, go to that store, see what I want, see what I can get. And ultimately, I built myself a cooling shirt, a whole system. And that's what's important, and this is all from Walmart and Lowe's. So, first thing I did is I went to Walmart because I needed a tank. I needed a cooler, okay? I, ugh, there's still water in this that I gotta drain out. So what I did is I went and picked me up one of these Igloo coolers. This Igloo, yep, this is Igloo. Um, so I picked me up an Igloo cooler. Now this is, uh, I think, a gallon or two gallons maybe. I don't know 100% sure um, the exact size, but it's not that big. Um, remember it is sitting a little bit closer to you than what I am. But the big things about this one, yes, it did have the drain on the bottom. I didn't care as much about. I mean, it's nice to be able to drain it without dumping it, but it also has a little relief valve on top in case it builds too much pressure. So don't flip this over, okay? So the next thing I needed to do is I needed to figure out a shirt, well, Rewind. So I looked around at the local Walmarts and I found where they were selling a uh, pump as well, a bilge pump specifically. So bilge pumps and boats are what are used to uh, keep the water out of the bottom of the boat, out of the bilge. Um, and they're usually run off a switch. And I didn't want to run mine off that switch. So mine runs automatically when I plug it in. Um, and I do just have wires here. Um, that I can connect to a positive, connect to a ground, and then it'll run, or I can do it to an on-off switch. But I'll talk about that in a second. So if we look in here, you'll see a pump in the bottom of there. Now, when I put this pump in there, uh, I've seen a lot of th different ways to do it. I hot glued it in. I figured that was a fair way to get it down, secured tight, and it's not gonna move. And then I'm just gonna keep an eye on it to make sure that it doesn't go anywhere. From there, I ran a very small piece of piping there, it's I think half an inch, into a 90 with a reducer that runs up through this pump, this tube here. So when I'm pumping, I'm pumping water through this tube. 
this is a return tube okay I put I put it back down to about the same area and I just zip tied it in so that way there's a constant circulation but this is my return so now that I'm pumping water I, I put some tubes on the outside right so that way I can connect them to my body I don't need them very far because this is for a dirt circle track truck primarily we do some drifting and stuff but I didn't want them very far. The big thing with this is that I can strap it with a ratchet strap or anything to a uh, roll bar or to any kind of mount really, and I can get it out of my way, and then I need a way to plug in. So I continued up here with the tubes, um, and then I just put some small couplings on. I bought these in the, uh, in the uh, power washer section, and I have a male and female end, but just some couplings, right? You clip them in. Now, there is some safety things that you need to consider and that's if you needed to jump out of the car would you be able to tear out of this and that's why i did not put any zip ties or clamps here um so if i really did rip on this they would come out does that cause for some worry about leakage yes uh if you're worried about it heat them up a little bit with a lighter and it'll cause them to kind of shrink and form to that uh little piece of there but it's something i'm gonna watch but i'd rather have safety as my main concern now, the shirt itself, I went up to uh, Joanne Quick and I picked up a shirt and material that matched it almost perfectly, if you can see, see here. Um, and then I went through and I just sewed a loop with the, with the hose in there, okay? Now, this isn't the best way to do it. Um, I wish I used smaller tubing here. I wish that it was a little more flexible. But nonetheless, it is a shirt that I can toss on with cooling in the front only. But I mean, it is what it is. It's a cheap version, right? So coming down here, I uh, I, put, I picked up valves, and I didn't pick these up at first, but you need to pick up some valves because, uh, well, you need to keep water in the shirt even when you unplug it. And that's kind of my thought on it is uh, these are just the push-on valves. These were kind of pricey, but I wanted to have some sort of valving so I could, when I got out of the car, I didn't drain the hoses all over myself, right? I could shut the valves off. I can disconnect my connectors and then I can jump out. Now again, these came with male and female ends. Um, I got them in the power washing section, but it's just for any kind of you know, small hose. And then I did a, an adapter to go to the size hose that I was using. I don't remember if this is, I think it's 3 8 maybe. I don't remember, guys. Um, the big thing is, is you need to go there and you need to figure out everything you need. I knew coming from my pump, I was at like a half inch. I believe it's a half inch, maybe three quarter. I don't remember. Coming from my hose, I knew I needed to reduce to this size, and then all of my connectors needed to be this size. Um, and that's kind of the gist of it, guys. You get in the car, you plug your two pieces in, make sure they're tight, open up your valves. Well, don't pull them too hard, because like I said, I didn't put any connectors here, so if I did need to jump out, they would rip. Uh, open up your valves, and then click your pump on and make sure that you're flowing right. I like the idea of having these clear tubes because I can see inside of them. I know some of the other systems don't run clear tubes. And then when you want to get out, you just simply unconnect both of those and jump out of the car. That goes under your race suit, guys. The other thing I picked up, and I didn't hook it up yet, is I picked up a little on-off switch, a square one. I have some HDPE sheeting or high-density high density polyurethane. Eh, I can't say it, guys. It's, it's black plastic. It's what they use for body kits and stuff like that. Uh, I'm going to cut a square in one. I'm going to bend a little 90 uh, and then put some slots so that way when I jump into a seat, if it's somebody else's truck, um, I can just zip tie that button in right next to me so I can click that on. Um, and then I want to run these. Instead of having them like this, I want to run them with the, at least the positive with alligator clamps. So the positive will go straight to the battery with the alligator clamp um, or the pop, the key on and then the black can then go to this switch and then from this switch to ground I think that's the easiest way to do it and then I just have a simple on off switch um, so that's everything that I have going on here I don't have any inline fuses you can add one if you want um, like I said the big thing is is that everything runs back to this other thing to mention quick I don't have a valve here right so when I disconnect these I disconnect them and hold them into the air for a second so it all can run back to the tank I really don't care if I get a little wet honestly because if it, I'm wearing this it's a hot day right so that's the way I built a uh, cheaper version of a cooling shirt a cooling suit 
This whole system probably ran me a hundred bucks by the time I bought everything. I could have done it a lot cheaper through Amazon. I will be uh, upgrading this whole setup in the future because I would like to have an inline pump and a smaller tank. That's personal preference. You pack this with ice, guys. So this system right here, you fill it with ice or water, you pack the rest of it with ice, you strap it in the car and you're done with it. For doing what we're doing, where we're just doing dirt racing or drifting or something like that, I'm not terribly worried about it. Uh, I left the drain on it because, well, let's be honest, if I'm gonna do an event and I can unstrap this quick and drain off the water, throw in some new ice, I'm gonna do that. Just be careful you don't drain all of your water. You still need to keep it about half to two thirds with water, um, but that's just because that's what's flowing through your shirt. This is my setup. There's a lot of ways to do it. Actually, there's not many people out there explaining how to do it. Uh, this is the best way I found to do it. And again, I'm gonna make a smaller one. So when I do make the smaller one, I'll make another video. On a smaller one, I'm gonna build a better shirt. I don't wanna buy a shirt um, simply because I know how to sew. I wanna build a better shirt and I wanna see how it comes out. So build cool things, show me what you did. Uh, if you did build cool things, tag me in HC Racing, uh, hashtag HC Racing. Um, and just make sure you get out there and have fun and go racing and have a good day.